Now, let us discuss the fifth method of uh, reduction rule. The fifth uh, point or you can say reduction method of uh, this uh, calculation of transfer function is the shifting of takeoff point after the block. So, let me write it here shifting of takeoff point after the block. So, suppose uh, we have uh, simply a block with the gain g 1 and uh, the signal x is applied to this uh, block and uh, we will get the output x times g 1 and we have a takeoff point uh, before this uh, block. So, the signal since the same signal x uh, is there at this point. So, this value of this takeoff point will be also the same as x. Now, if you want to shift this takeoff point after this block, what will be the equivalent diagram? In that case, suppose, so this is the same block g 1 and this signal x is applied to this and the output in this case is uh, x times g 1 and uh, this takeoff point is shifted at this point. Now, at this point the signal value is x g 1, but we want this signal value to be equal to x. So, what we will do? We will divide this value, we will divide this value with g 1. So, there will be a block with the gain 1 by g 1. So, that we will get the same value x here. So, the rule is if you want to shift the takeoff point after the block, then this uh, uh, signal will be divided by the gain in between. So, similarly, if we the sixth point, if we want to shift the takeoff point, shifting of takeoff point before the block, so we have a block with the gain g1, and uh, we are getting some, we are giving some signal input x to this um, block g1. So, we are getting output x g 1 and we have a takeoff point at this output terminal uh, which is which will also have the same value x g 1 and we want to shift this takeoff point before this block g 1. So, what will be the equivalent diagram in this case? So, in this case, this is the gain g 1 and this is the output x times g 1 and we have shifted this takeoff point from output terminal to this input terminal, but the value of this input terminal uh, is x, but we want uh, this value to be equal to be x g 1. So, what we will do? We will simply multiply this signal with the gain g 1 and then we will get the actual value which is x times g 1. So, the rule is if you want to shift the takeoff point after the block, then the signal will be multiplied by the gain in between. So, these two rules of shifting of takeoff points are just the opposite rules of the uh, shifting of summing point. Okay, so, seventh rule for block diagram reduction is uh, eliminating the closed loop eliminating closed loop. So, we already discussed that uh, a closed loop control system is represented like this. We have a forward gain g and the feedback gain h taken from the takeoff point and this is the output terminal uh, represented by c and this is input this is added, this signal is added, this signal is subtracted. So, this uh, this is how we can represent a closed loop control system. Now, we already derived the overall gain of this uh, closed loop control system which uh, which comes out to be C by R which is uh, the output divided by the input is uh, G divided by 1 plus G H in case uh, this signal is added. Uh, if in case this signal is subtracted, this will be let me write it here. If this uh, is uh, subtracted, then we will use negative sign here. So, uh, this overall block closed loop uh, block can be represented by a single block with the gain g divided by 1 plus minus g h. So, let me write the equivalent diagram of this closed loop control system. We can write it as a single block with the gain g divided by 1 plus minus g h and this is a signal input uh, signal and this is the output signal. So, this is uh, rule number 7 eliminating the closed loop system. The rule number 8 is uh, interchanging of summing elements. So, suppose uh, we have uh, two summing elements connected back to back 
like uh, this. Suppose the signals x1, x2 and x3 is applied to these summing elements and all the signals are added. Let, let us assume that all the signals are added. Then in this case the final output will be equals to since uh, at this point we will get uh, signal x1 plus x2 and this x1 plus x2 is also added to x3. So, the final output in this case will be x1 plus x2 plus x3. Now, what will happen if we interchange, uh, let me write it here, if we interchange the position of these summing elements, this summing element is shifted to this position and this is shifted to this position, then what will be the equivalent output in that case or how we can change these summing elements. So, these summing elements are interchanged. Now, in this case, uh, the signal x1 is there and in this case the signal x3 will, x3 will be added and the, in this uh, summing element x2 is added. So, what will be the final output in this case? Since uh, at this position both the signals x1 plus x3 will be added and this signal is added also to this x2. So, 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 so the final output x1 plus x2 plus x3 which is same as the output in the previous case. So, uh, there is no change in the output. So, uh, we can uh, interchange always interchange the summing elements. So, it, it will not affect the output. So, the summing elements can be interchanged. Now, the uh, rule number 9, rule number 9 for log diagram reduction is the shifting of takeoff point. after the summing element. So, if you want to shift the takeoff point after the summing element, uh, what will be the equivalent diagram in that case? So, suppose we have a summing element in which uh, two signals are added, uh, x1 and x2, two signals are added. We are assuming that both the signals are added for the simplicity. So, the output in this case will be x1, just simply x1 plus x2 and uh, we have a takeoff point. Uh, at the input side or we can say uh, at x1 we have a takeoff point here. So, the value of this takeoff point will be also x1 and we want to shift this uh, takeoff point after the summing element here. So, in that case what will be the value or what will be the equivalent diagram? So, in this case uh, we have shifted this takeoff point here. So, we have signals x1 and uh, signal x2 both the signals are added and uh, we are getting output which is x1 plus x2 and uh, this uh, takeoff point is shifted at this point. Now, the value of takeoff point in the previous case was x1. Now, in this case the value of takeoff point is x1 plus x2, but uh, we want the values of signals to be same then what we will do we, we need to subtract this uh, x2 from this signal this output signal. So, what we will do we will we will include another adder here and this signal x2 will be subtracted and this signal x1 plus x2 takeoff point value will be added so that we can get the value uh, uh, x1 which is the ex uh, actual value of the takeoff point. So, the rule of shifting a takeoff point after the summing element is we need to add another summing element with the opposite sign of uh, this signal x2 in order to get the same exact signal of the takeoff point. And uh, rule number 10 which is just opposite of this uh, rule number 9 shifting of takeoff point before the summing element. So, in this case uh, we have similar situation here a summing element is there we have two signals x1 and x2 both the signals are added. So, we have output which is x1 plus x2 and we have a takeoff point here which is uh, having exactly same value x1 plus x2 as the output and we want to shift this takeoff point before this summing element. So, in this case what will be the equivalent diagram? So, in this case we have a summing element uh, signal is added this signal is also added x2 and uh, we have output x1 plus x2 and uh, we have shifted the summing element here. Uh, takeoff point here that in this case the value is uh, x1, but we want x1 plus x2. So, what we will do? We will add another summing element here and we will add this value x2. Previously, we have subtracted this value and now this case in this case we, we need to add these values x1 plus x2. So, that we will get the uh, value x1 plus x2, x2 which is the actual value of the takeoff point. So, the rule is 
if we want to shift the takeoff point before the summing element, we will need to add another summing element and the signal x2 this time will be added and uh, then we will get the exact or actual uh, value of the takeoff point. I hope uh, you understand these uh, reduction methods. In the next video, we will uh, take a few examples of block diagram reduction method. Thank you.